Hello everyone and welcome to this overview of hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is used when we're trying to look at the difference between groups or means. So we want to know whether or not there is a significant difference between those groups. In order to do hypothesis testing, we must first come up with our hypotheses. There are typically two types of hypothesis that we use in a hypothesis testing situation. For example, the null hypothesis is one of those that we use, and that is typically signified with an H with a subscript zero. A null hypothesis means that there, we suspect that there is no difference between the means of the various groups. So our null hypothesis is what we hope not to find. We hope that there usually is a difference between our means or our groups. We expect that there is an impact of the independent variable. But the null hypothesis is assuming that there is no difference. So of course we want to prove this wrong. We want to find support on the other case for our alternative hypothesis. So the null is what we hope not to find or typically it's just referring to the fact that we expect there to be no difference between the different groups. Now, the alternative hypothesis, however, is what we usually hope to find, and that is that there is a difference between the means of the various groups. That is usually designated with uh, H with a subscript of 1. So this is usually referred to as our alternative hypothesis. Now, uh, the direction or difference might be stated uh, within our alternative hypothesis. We might say that we expect one mean to be larger than another but we don't have to. An alternative hypothesis is just that there, we expect some difference to exist. Our hypothesis could state just that. Some other concepts that come into play when we're talking about hypotheses is the errors involved in accepting or rejecting certain hypotheses. The type 1 error, which is usually designated by the alpha symbol, which you can see here, which looks a lot like a little fish. Um, we use this to designate the chances of having a type 1 error. So what are the chances of us actually rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true? So deciphering this, what that means is that we rejected the null, okay, and the null of course means that there is no difference, so we rejected that. We said yes, there is a difference, but with the type 1 error that means we should not have done that. That means that we accepted the alternative that there was a difference when we shouldn't have. So in the end, a type 1 error means that there is no difference, but we think that there is one. So of course, we don't want to do that. We don't want to commit a type 1 error. We want to reject the null when it is actually false, when there is a difference. A type 2 error is designated by the beta sign. And what this designates is when we retain the null hypothesis when it's false. So this means that there was a difference, but we didn't find it, or um, maybe we were too restrictive in the parameters that we established for our test. So what happens is that we actually reject the, no the alternative hypothesis that there's a difference when it's actually true. So in this case, we're stating, hey, we didn't find any difference, but in actuality, there was one. So that would be a type 2 error. And of course, we don't want to do that as well, because that means that we're ignoring a difference uh, that we found by doing this. So power is 1 minus beta, or 1 minus the type chances of a type 2 error. And so as type 2 error goes down, or the fact that we are rejecting an alternative hypothesis is true, then our power will actually go up. And of course, we want to make sure we have as much power as possible within our study. So the power means that we're rejecting a false null hypothesis. And of course, we want to do that. We want to find that there is a difference. We want our null hypothesis to be false. We want, when we get done with our testing, to show, hey, there were differences, our alternative hypothesis was true. And so our power is when we actually reject that false null hypothesis and find correctly that there is a difference. Another thing that is relevant to uh, significance testing is the number of tails in the tests that we do. A one-tailed test is used when the difference between the means is expected to be in a particular direction. So we expect that one of the means will be larger than another. So an example of how we might actually state a one-tailed test in terms of the hypothesis or the alternative hypothesis is as follows. We may state that the mean for the no training group we expect to be less than the mean for the training group. So the people in the training group we expect to have a higher overall performance, for example. We can see here that we're really looking for there to be a difference in a certain direction. We expect one group to be larger than the other, and we're stating which one we expect to be larger. 
When we do this, we're typically going to be using a one-tailed test. Now, this, of course, is overly restrictive. It means that we better be good at what we're estimating because what if we found the opposite to be true? Then, of course, we'd have to run a different test to determine the significance of that difference in that direction because what we're testing here is only the significance in this direction that we're proposing. So typically what we do is a two-tailed test. This is the most commonly used. And what this means is that we're expecting there to be a difference between the means, but we're not hypothesizing which direction we expect that to be in. So for example, our hypothesis might state that the two means are just not equal to each other. So we would use this when we, of course, want to find a difference between the means, but we're not sure which direction it might go. We don't want to overly restrict ourselves in terms of what differences we may look at. Hopefully this was a good overview of hypotheses, errors, power, and the number of tails that may be used in significance testing.